You're watching Eyewitness News at 430. I'm Kara Sundlin. We're happy you're here. Well, a rising eighth grader from Ellington who wants to be a theoretical physicist is already getting recognized for his brilliance. He was chosen to represent Connecticut in a prestigious science competition, and this great kid explained it all in depth to Channel 3's Wendell Edwards. At 13 years old, Rithvik Surin is already trying to change the world for the better. My project was about generating electricity using the muons in our atmosphere. He's incredibly smart, spending part of his summer at this STEM camp in downtown Hartford. Earlier this year, he used his intellect to enter the nation's premier middle school science competition. Those muons are actually flying about 10,000, like 10,000 muons are flying through us every minute in like just one meter space. And what did you want to do with this now? I want to generate electricity from this. It's a complicated project he willfully embraced. He entered that competition in February and spent months proving his theory. Since muons are exactly like electrons, but 200 times heavier, then why can't I try to generate that into electricity? The hardest part was actually justifying that your idea could be possible because uh, there's not that much research into what I'm trying to do. He submitted his video project. If there was just a way to harvest all of these muons, we could generate electricity almost infinitely. One week before the deadline in April and hoped he would at least be noticed. Not only was he noticed, judges selected Rithvik and his theory as the state winner of that 3M Young Scientist Challenge representing the entire state of Connecticut. His parents, including his dad, who's an engineer, helped keep him grounded and his ideas organized. So always I ask him to document and then we'll have a discussion because he throws ideas just like that. Yeah. Rithvik is still trying to wrap his brain around just how much of a big deal his selection really is. Do you feel that? Well, yeah, I do. I'm very proud that I got this award. His brain is constantly at work, so much so he keeps a daily journal. The thing is I have many theoretical ideas. At home I just kind of jot them down or just like really research them a lot. Because when it comes to changing the world, this would be scientist, theoretical physicist. We're looking at a muon flying. Is already way ahead of the curve. In Ellington, Wendell Edwards, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.